Hey, and welcome to the final video in the five attributes of A players training series brought to you by Uncover Your A Game and aplayerpodcast.com. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I, of course, am John Lee, and congratulations. If you're watching this, you've made it all the way through my free training series on the attributes of A players. By now, you already have a good idea of what makes someone an A player. In the last video, we looked at how A players course correct, which I believe to be the most important of the five attributes. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how A players take care of themselves so they can be at their best every day. The three areas of self-care. A players know that they need to be at their very best in order to be productive and efficient. They know that the secret to being productive is not time management, but energy management. You don't need to manage your time as much as you need to manage your en energy. As long as you block off time, which we talked about way, way back um, a few videos ago, then you're going to be able to manage that. But energy management, making sure you're mentally, physically, and emotionally motivated and juiced up in order to get the most out of every single day is really really important and A players know that and they take really good care of themselves. They practice what I call self-care in the areas of physical, mental, and emotional states. So you've probably heard some version of this before. Take care of yourself, be good to yourself, be kind to yourself. Um, I'm gonna get into some physical stuff, which is like diet and exercise, which you definitely 100% heard. But I really wanna emphasize why we're doing this. You're doing this because you need that energy. If you're not in good shape, you don't have as much energy to work as hard. It becomes harder to have willpower. It becomes easier to lay on the couch or eat that bad for you food that causes you to crash, um, et cetera, et cetera. If you don't keep your mental focus and fitness sharp, um, and we'll talk about mental fitness because I think a lot of people don't think about mental and emotional fitness. Um, if you neglect that, then again, this can sap you and take away from being an A player. So we want to make sure that we're always at our best. That's what self-care is about. Okay, so the first area of self-care is physical fitness. Again, not information you haven't heard before, so I'm going to be very brief. Uh, the big four things, this is really simple. I honestly am kind of annoyed at the whole diet and fitness industry because I don't think it's that hard. Um, first, eat right, right? Less processed food, more organic food, more whole foods, um, less carbs. Carbs and sugars are what make you fat. Uh, mostly carbs even. Sugars from fruits are all right, but carbs and processed sugars are why you're fat if you're fat. Workout. Working out does not make you lose weight in the same way as eating right does, and it doesn't fuel you, but it makes you feel better. It releases endorphins. It makes you physically stronger and, and builds your stamina. Get enough sleep. This is the one that I often do not do a good job at when you're working and you want to have a social life, and sometimes you just want to relax, or sometimes you just like to stay up. Um, it's not good, though, because... They've done studies and being tired is worse when you're driving than being drunk. And your mental capacity, if you go with less than six hours of sleep for more than four days, you're down to like 25% mental capacity. They've done studies on this, you can, you can Google them. Uh, getting enough sleep is really, really important. Drink water. Um, a lot of problems, especially with your health, come from not drinking enough water, being dehydrated. If you Google like beginning of disease, Diseases. Dehydration has a big role in cancer and a lot of other diseases uh, that can be caused. That can be kept at bay, um, you know, not stopped. I'm not saying drink water and you'll never get any disease, but a lot of the time, drinking water keeps you really healthy, keeps you hydrated, keeps your mind focused. A hydrated brain is a focused brain. All right, mental. Mental fitness is not a term many people have heard of, but A players know it very well. In order to be mentally fit, you need to be stress-free, resilient, focused, and goal-centered. Um, so, again, I'm not going to get super into all this stuff, but I want to touch on these bullet points. Relaxation, you have to do something to relax. Whether it's yoga, or meditation, or relaxation therapy where you squeeze and release your muscles, getting massages, 
Um, you know, even having a glass of wine or two every day, you've got to have a way to blow off steam, especially when you're a high performing A player. And try to do things that are not self-destructive, right? Like doing drugs and getting really drunk, those are not great ways of relaxation and it's really just kind of putting the stress on a credit card that you're going to have to pay later. Um, Anti-fragility. There's a really great book by Nassim Talaib. I'm terrible with pronunciation. He wrote The Black Swan. It's called Anti-Fragile. It basically talks about how there are things that are fragile, which when disorder happens and chaos happens, which is the world we live in, they break down. And there are things that are anti-fragile and actually gain strength from disorder. We want to aim to be anti-fragile. We want to aim to uh, make ourselves a person who thrives in non-controlled chaotic situations by becoming anti-fragile. Um, there's a bunch of great advice in that book. Meditation for focus. Um, the Japanese style of meditation with your eyes closed where you stare at one point and you really focus on that point and focus on your breathing can really help with your mental fitness because being able to focus for long amounts of time is a huge skill that A players have that B and C players don't have and that's what causes A players to get things done and B and C players to lag, procrastinate, and be mediocre. And lastly, goal setting. And goal setting, I don't want you to go okay and set unrealistic goals like I'm gonna make a billion dollars next year when you just started your business, but you wanna have goals and it's okay to not reach your goals. One of the things I think messes people up when it comes to goal setting is that at the end of the year they look at the goals they set at the beginning and they didn't do 80% of them or maybe they did you know some work on this one but they didn't really accomplish all of them and you're not ever going to accomplish all of your goals when you goal set especially if you're being ambitious um, but the idea is that you get things done and you get closer right nothing is perfect you know you can map out goals to have what you would consider a perfect life but even if you were able to achieve it it wouldn't be perfect so we want to set goals to give us a target. When I really think about goal setting, I'm thinking about setting a target. I'm not going to probably reach it, but I want to get closer in that direction. And that's what's really important about goal setting. And lastly, I want to talk about emotional fitness. A players understand that unchecked out of control emotions can lead to a host of bad consequences from health concerns, heart disease is directly linked to anger and, and frustration and those kind of emotions um, to negative social consequences getting divorced not being able or having bad relationships losing business deals unchecked emotions are really really bad and I want to take a minute here to address something that I believe is really sexist when it comes to being emotional a lot of times men will tell women to calm down and not be emotional when women cry or, or get upset what men refer to as hysteria um, but these same men will think it's totally okay when their boss yells at a subordinate or if they tear into someone or you know get really angry and really lay down the law and the riot act they think that's okay being angry is an emotion when someone is really angry they're being every bit as emotional as someone who's crying when you're in the midst of an unchecked emotion you're in the midst of an unchecked emotion and i feel that it's very sexist and unfair that men as a whole are allowed to be thought of as unemotional and logical when the emotions they express, anger, frustration, um, rage, are just a different side of the spectrum that are seen as more acceptable in a business context. But it's not. Being emotional has no place in a business context. So let's talk about some A player attitudes about emotions. The biggest thing I see in A players, and this is something that I can sometimes struggle with, is A players don't take things personally. I know. I This is probably the number one thing I struggle with in terms of emotions, is I take things personally when people are being jerks to me. If someone tries to give me a bad deal, if someone you know, tells me my work isn't great, or someone has criticisms, I take it personally. A players do not. I, it's, it, I don't always do it, and I've gotten much better over time, but... Um, a players never take things personally. They just take things as feedback. A players are proactive. A players don't wait for things to come to them. They go out and get them. That is that is really important. They don't they don't um, sit here and feel like, well, it should be people should come to me. I have the best thing. They're proactive. Um, A players look for solutions that allow everyone to save face. There's one part to being solutions focused, but if your solution forces another person to be embarrassed or hurt 
that's not going to help because that's just creating another emotional issue. Down the line, that person is going to be um, annoyed and, and look for payback. So A players look for solutions that allow everyone to save face. And ultimately, A players know it's business, not personal. Um, oftentimes, you will get screwed over in business. I've had people, business partners and joint venture contributors steal money from me um, publicly, you know, make negative comments. It's not personal, it's business. Um, business, people are protecting their family and trying to put food on the table, which makes them willing to do things that they probably wouldn't in a normal situation, and it honestly doesn't have much to do with you. It's much more about them, which is why you have to just let that go. Don't keep things bottled up, don't get super angry and tense, and just recognize that it's not personal, it's just business. All right, in closing, Thank you for watching my five-part series on the attributes of A players. I know there's a lot of information that I've crammed into these videos, so I highly recommend that you watch them twice. They're not that long. Take notes, and be sure to give these videos a thumbs up on YouTube. Give them a like. Subscribe to the channel. All that stuff really helps me out. Um, if you have any questions for me personally, you can email me at john at aplayerpodcast.com. Uh, or leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as many as I can probably all of them I don't think we're going to be inundated with comments here but if it does I apologize and you can always email me john j-o-n at aplayerpodcast.com thank you for watching I hope you learned as much from watching these videos as I learned and coming up with the information to present them take care